What's up? In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to do shin juggles. Check it out. So the first thing I would say about shin juggles is that you should stretch and warm up correctly before you start training. Of course, it's important that you stretch and warm up correctly before any type of freestyle, but because of the nature of this movement, I think it's particularly important. Firstly, we're going to hold the ball just out in front of us and practice throwing it up and just hitting it with each shin. Just hold the ball out in front of yourself, throw it up gently, and as the ball drops, lift up one of your shins to meet the ball. When you first do this, you'll have no idea what you're doing and it'll feel really strange, but this is the most effective way to learn how to juggle like this. The first point we're going to look at is the positioning of our leg. We want to have our leg nice and straight, and as we lift our foot up to meet the ball, we want our knee to lock out so we have a nice straight surface where the ball can hit. By locking out our knee like this, it'll give our shin a little bit of extra support and strength when hitting the ball. You should only have your knee locked out for that split second when you hit the ball. It's really important that our shin meets the ball at the correct height. If you have your foot locked out at a 90 degrees angle there's probably a risk of injury and also it makes things harder to control. If you just lower your foot slightly so you're just meeting the ball just under waist height I find that this is the most comfortable and best way to do it. By just holding the ball out just slightly in front of you throwing it up and letting it meet your shin you'll find that the ball tends to bounce in the center of your shin and this is the sweet spot. If you hit the side of your shin you'll end up miscontrolling it and things will get very difficult. If you hit the ball with the lower part of your shin towards your foot you'll find that the ball will probably go forwards and you'll end up miscontrolling it there as well. So right in the middle of the shin is definitely where you want to hit the ball because it should come right back up into your hands. Lastly we should try and keep our feet and our ankles nice and relaxed and also we don't want to hit through the ball sending it up into the air. Simply let the ball make contact with our shin and that's all you need to do. Because our shin is a really hard surface area the ball will come back up straight up anyway so there's no need to put any extra power on it. By practicing throwing it up and hitting it with both shins over time you'll become familiar with these points and you'll start to get used to the technique. Once you're comfortable with that you can move on to juggling and just like normal juggling it's all about setting yourself goals and trying to hit a record. With shin juggling because you're straightening out your legs you'll find that you're not as mobile as you usually are with hill juggling or normal juggling. It's really important that you find a rhythm so that both of your shins come up each time like clockwork. Our upper body needs to be stable and just hold your arms out slightly to the side to give yourself a little bit of balance if you need. I think the key to shin juggling is practice and finding that sweet spot on your shin and becoming comfortable at hitting the ball up at such a high point. If you hit the ball up too low you won't be able to get into that rhythm and you'll find that you'll be rushing to lift your shin up to hit the ball. But if you hit the ball up too high it'll come down fast, hit your shin and bounce off making it hard to control. So make sure you practice hard to find your sweet spot and also to get into that rhythm. That's it if you have any questions let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this tutorial please hit that like button subscribe for more tutorials if you haven't already and I'll be back again with a new tutorial very soon till next time take it easy peace